Now to the situation at the southern border. With Title 42, the pandemic air policy restricting immigration set to expire tonight, officials have been bracing for a surge of migrants in the days and weeks ahead. ABC's Medea Villarreal joins us now from El Paso, Texas, where border agents are warning migrants making the trip that they must have the right paperwork. Good afternoon to you. Hey guys, you know, this is Sacred Heart Church in El Paso, Texas. For months, it has been a magnet for migrants. In fact, just a few days ago when we arrived, we saw hundreds of them sleeping here on the streets. But you know, just in the last few days, the Department of Homeland Security conducted what they call a targeted operation. Basically, they told these people, if you do not have the proper paperwork, you need to turn yourself in. And this is just one of the ways that they are trying to get the message out as Title 42 is coming to an end. For weeks, Border Patrol agents have been bracing for the end of Title 42, the pandemic era policy that allows U.S. Border Patrol agents to expel migrants without allowing them to request asylum because of a public health emergency. With the policy expiring today, some officials say they anticipate as many as 10,000 migrants to cross the border daily. Earlier this week in El Paso, Texas, which has declared a state of emergency, ICE agents searched cars and tents, warning migrants to get processed by U.S. Border Patrol or risk deportation. The administration says it's deploying 1,500 active duty troops to the El Paso sector to assist with administrative duties, not law enforcement. This area has seen an influx of migrants crossing from Juarez, Mexico over the last two weeks, Hundreds are waiting on U.S. soil for up to eight days to get picked up and processed with limited access to food and water and no shelter. So once migrants cross through, they really can't take a whole lot with them on the DHS buses. So they are asked to dump a lot of their clothing and personal belongings right here. The Texas National Guard also setting up along the border with more than 900 troops. Under Title VIII, if you cross the border illegally, you will still be sent back to Mexico. But this time, you're going to, unlike Title 42, now you're going to be enrolled in the system, right? The migrants are going to find out that if they cross the border illegally, they're going to be sent back and they're going to be barred from seeking asylum for five years. Meanwhile, in Mexico, across from Brownsville, Texas, a makeshift camp littered with trash has been home to more than thousands of migrants, many here for months desperate to make their way into the United States. When the White House announced its decision to lift Title 42, the plan was to require migrants to apply for legal entry through a phone app, then set up an appointment. They let her get a... a, a an appointment, but not her daughter. Lucia Gomez has been waiting in Matamoros, Mexico with her daughter for five months, unable to get an appointment. Others taking measures into their own hands, crossing the river to escape the dangers of living here. This young mother right here just got to the camp today and she's already choosing to go across. She says she just doesn't have the time to wait for an appointment. She has a one-year-old with her and two young little girls that already went across. On the political landscape, Republicans arguing that it's clear Title 42 has been working and should remain in place. Democrats and independents too critical of the government's response. The Biden administration had two years to prepare for this and did not do so. And our state is going to bear the brunt and migrants will be in crisis. Without much more robust action from the federal government, the current situation will only get worse. We are making it very clear that our border is not open, that crossing irregularly is against the law, and that those who are not eligible for relief will be quickly returned. Really what we've heard from all of the local leaders and, for that matter, federal leaders, is that they can handle this, they can manage the amount of people, but really transportation is the biggest issue they have. This, the shelters are in place. Obviously, we see the Texas National Guard coming down here, the Department of Defense sending troops as well to help manage all of this. But still, you, you need transportation to get these migrants out of here because many of them don't want to stay in border towns like El Paso. They're going to New York, Chicago, Florida, um, and in order to get there, they need buses. And so um, many of them are having to wait days in order to get that. Thank you very much. Reporting from El Paso, Texas. Phenomenal reporting there. Thank you. Well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.